It's a new semester for the University of Pittsburgh, both, but students who are not fully vaccinated against COVID have actually been disenrolled from school. And this is part of Pitt's new policy that works in tandem with its vaccine mandate. Erica Stanish explains what disenrolling actually entails and how many students are in that protocol. At last check, the university said 96% of its students and faculty were vaccinated, but many were still left without access to pit buildings and resources this week, and we're told they can't re-enroll until they're fully vaccinated. I personally like the vaccine requirement. It just makes it feel like uh, safer than my hometowns. Uh, where there's COVID just spreading, spreading a lot. So I'm a new student and it's kind of a bummer because I'm not like, like getting to explore everything and like learn the city. Pitt students reacting Tuesday after learning some of their classmates were disenrolled from the university for not being fully vaccinated. I don't know that like disenrollment would is exactly necessary, but um, I don't know. I think that this is such like a small campus that um, it, the vac or the virus would spread very quickly if not everybody was getting the vaccine. The University of Pittsburgh implemented a vaccine mandate in November, giving students and faculty the month of December to get fully vaccinated ahead of the spring semester. This week, a university spokesperson tells KDKA they're working with those who are trying to come into compliance, but say those who have not gotten the COVID vaccines were disenrolled from classes and lost access to certain IT functions last week. They said the same goes for unvaccinated faculty and staff members. I think we should all be doing like what it takes to keep everyone else healthy, and we should just be thinking of others before ourselves. The university would not say how many students were disenrolled, but said in a news release in November that around 2,500 students had not yet disclosed their vaccine status and could be affected by the mandate by the spring semester. The university tells me as soon as those students and faculty members are fully vaccinated, they will regain access and will be permitted to re-enroll. Right now, a university-wide shelter in place is in effect due to increased COVID cases in the area, so students are mostly learning remotely right now and that will remain in effect until at least January 26th. In the meantime, for any employee or student that may not plan to return or re-enroll, you can head to our website to learn what you should do. Erica Stanish, KDK News.